That's smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. So it looks like most fans like the Fallout TV series, but there's a small contingent that seemed to hate the show, believing that the showrunners tried to retcon out some of the lore out of the series. Exactly what are they talking about? And are they right? Did Amazon retcon non-Bethesda game lore out of the series? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the world of Fallout and explore the wasteland. The Fallout TV series finally dropped last week and the conversations have exploded about whether it was any good or how well it adapted the games. Well, I'm happy to report that the vast majority of people that watched the series had a positive opinion about it. Even a garbage site like Rotten Tomatoes gave it high praise. So why are we now getting news that fans of the games hate the series? Well, I have to caveat this by saying that some fans are hating it, particularly fans of Fallout New Vegas. Now, I played New Vegas a while ago, so maybe my memory is a little rusty, but I do recall a heavy emphasis on all the factions throughout the wasteland in New Vegas. This is where things get murky for some fans. In episode 5, we learn that Shady Sands, the new California Republic's first capital city, was nuked at some point in the recent past. Both Lucy and Maximus were kids when it happened. In the original Fallout game that came out in 1997, one of the first locations you visit is Shady Sands, but now in the show, it's a big hole in the ground. So exactly when was the nuke dropped on the NCR capital? That's what fans say is a huge problem with the series. Well, it's one of many problems. In Episode 6, when Lucy visits Vault 4, she sees a classroom blackboard conveniently laid out with a timeline of the new California Republic. I have to pause here to praise that I fucking love the music during this scene. Having that theme play was so awesome. But anyway, I digress. The timeline on the blackboard details the history of Shady Sands, the new California Republic, and the tragic downfall of the town. At first glance, the blackboard looks to have a date for when this occurred, 2277. This is a few years before the events of Fallout New Vegas, but somehow the nuking of Shady Sands was never mentioned in that game. And as I mentioned earlier, New Vegas was all about the warring factions of which the NCR played a large part. So does that mean that New Vegas was retconned out and not series canon? How could the events of New Vegas play out like they did if the NCR had been nuked just a few years earlier? Let's take a look. Here's the thing. The Blackboard didn't explicitly say that Shady Sands got nuked in 2277. The timeline shown in this scene goes through the fall of Shady Sands in 2277 and then points to the Mushroom Cloud. So this could mean that whatever the fall is happened before the city was bombed. The fall could also be some other event because, you know, cities can fail for other reasons besides getting nuked. The New California Republic also had other cities, so nuking Shady Sands wouldn't necessarily mean that they were definitely destroyed. Later in the show, there's also an outpost shown that's full of NCR soldiers. Another thing New Vegas fans took issue with was Episode 8. The last shot of the first season clearly shows us the Deathclaw Skull and New Vegas off in the distance. This is followed by shots of a once lively city as a darkened ruin similar to the intro in Fallout 3. This combined with the nuking of Shady Sands made some fans think the rise of New Vegas may never even have happened in the show's lore and that season two might completely overwrite New Vegas. Here's where I take issue with this particular subsegment of Autis. Given how accurate the show was to the game's lore, I highly doubt the showrunners would make that big of a mistake. I mean, they get everything to look like the games right down to the vault's doorbells. It seems to me that a lot of care went into making this show, so I highly doubt the showrunners would retcon out a Bethesda game out of their own series. One observation I will make, though, is that the show really pushes game elements from Fallout 76. We see gulpers, along with a whole host of little elements, paying homage to Fallout 76. Now, I think that's just Bethesda trying to breathe new life into the once-failed MMO so they can make more money. Hey, that monthly subscription fee is still keeping World of Warcraft alive going over 20 years now. It could also be that New Vegas fell into war and chaos in the years after the game, but before the show takes place. I wasn't a fan of seeing the city dark and dead, but it doesn't mean that Fallout New Vegas never happened. 
The show also clearly depicts Shady Sands as basically the LA area, not as far out into the desert as the first game seemed to suggest it was. This is another reason some fans are saying Fallout 1 and 2 are also being retconned out of existence. This seems to be, again, autistic OCD nitpicking to me. The original games were isometric 2D and not graphically intensive games back when hard drive space wasn't going into the multiple terabytes. The original games were isometric 2D and not graphically intensive games back when hard drive space wasn't going into multiple terabytes. Some things had to be obviously cut out of those games because who the hell wants to traverse vast empty spaces without fast travel? At the end of the day, the Fallout TV series is an adaptation. Something that happens in adaptations is stuff being moved around, added, deleted, all for the overall narrative to make sense. There's only so much a TV show can fit within its runtime. To me, this is just a bunch of autists going around nitpicking a bunch of details that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Just enjoy the show. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think the showrunners are trying to retcon out the original Fallout games in New Vegas? And do you really care that much? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Okie dokie.